All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and register our article model or really any Django model into the admin right here. And to do this, it's really simple. So we jump into our code and we navigate into admin.py on any given app. So we have our article model right next to admin.py. So we can do from.models import article and we'll just go ahead and do admin.site.register and it's simply article. That's it. So once we have that, we can refresh in here and now I can actually manage all of my articles in here, which is really nice. It gives me a whole another set of things that I can do inside of the admin. And so thinking of our projects, and if I were to launch a blog, for example, I could launch a blog right now. There's actually not a whole lot more that you would need to do with the blog to have it actually working. Now, certainly we can handle other things like our static files, like CSS and JavaScript and images, but really I have all of the fundamental things I need to display content, to create content, and to manage that content. So I think that's actually really, really nice. Now, we are gonna be adding on top of this, but the idea of using the admin is, well, it's really, really, really cool. Um, and so as it stands right now though, it still needs a little bit of work. So we're gonna do just a slight modification to this admin to make it a little bit more user-friendly. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead and use a admin class. So we're gonna go ahead and come in here and say class article admin. And this is admin.model admin. And we're gonna go ahead and say, something like this. So we'll go ahead and say list display and the fields we want to display on the list. In this case, I'll just say title. And with that, I'll go ahead and add this in here, save it, and we'll refresh in here. And now it's actually showing us the title as a display. Notice that I can't actually select this final one anymore because there is no title. So I can also just put in maybe the ID in here as well to show that one too. So I can actually select it, right? So I can actually select that final article. Um, I think this is actually another thing that's kind of nice to know about is that there's, there's more robust ways to display any content in the admin. Um, we can also do something like search fields. And this is a, another way to actually search inside of the admin. So if I added title and perhaps content, I can actually create a little search box inside of the admin as well. So if I type out another and hit enter, it actually shows me another title, which is pretty cool. So yes, we can advance this a lot, but the key to this one is to just show you that now we can actually manage it inside of the admin and we're really ready to start adding a few more features to get it into production for the first time.